Today, me and Rowan have traveled down to Milton Keynes to Oracle Red Bull Racing's HQ. And as you can see, we are surrounded by some of the best technology and innovations the world has to offer. We're here for the Hexagon Aerospace Innovation Day. But what are some of the technologies that they're showcasing? Well, Rowan, what we're going to see today. Yes, Tom, I can't wait. We're here for Hexagon today, Red Bull Racing. They've got some keynote discussions, panel discussions as well. Two brand new products they're unveiling. It's the Maestro CMM system and also the ATS 800 laser scanner and tracker. Um, are you excited, Tom? Yeah, I can't wait to see the new CMM Maestro and also the laser tracking. But, Rowan, are you ready? Let's go. Oracle Red Bull Racing is a Formula One team founded back in 2005 by Dietrich Mateschitz and we exist to build and run Formula One cars in circles very quickly. We actually just surpassed becoming the most successful Formula One constructor of the 21st century which is quite nice and Max Verstappen is actually just as of winning Monza 2025 become a driver that has won 50% of all races since the new regulations came into effect in 2022. So I guess you could say it's been going well. We're currently in the MK7 warehouse, which is one of the places where we keep all of our old race used Formula One cars. And we're here at a Hexagon event to launch the next generation of technology. So Hexagon has technology both at the factory and at the track. So at the factory, we're using global CMMs, maestros to measure the parts that we've made out of our machine shop and our composites department. So once we have that quality assurance, we know that we can send the part to the track and it's the right size, shape, weight. We know that it's not got any cracks in it that could fail during the race. But also in the garage, we use other solutions. So we use the 8960 with the AS1 XLs and AS1s. And that's a legality check for the FIA. So we can scan our entire car, which then gets uploaded to the FIA and they can check that our well, car conforms to the technical regulations. But we can also use them to really fine tune our car setup, our wheel angles, our wheel cambers which means that we can really fine tune our car to get that last millisecond of performance, which ultimately can be the difference between winning and losing a race. Uh, as a technical partner of ours, Hexagon are, are key to our success. Um, we use all of their equipment to verify all the manufactured components through all stages of manufacture um, before they go into a power unit um, on, a, on a daily basis. Um, so they are very important to us. Hexagon equipment is, is proven, worldwide proven. Um, we do a lot of studies before we actually purchase any equipment. Hexagon always comes out on top. Um, it's constantly used and constantly verified. Um, it repeats perfectly every time. Yeah, F1 and aerospace share absolutely some similar challenges uh, when, when it comes to quality control and uh, measuring. Because the technology is advancing very fast. Uh, we bring in new type of, uh, of scanners, uh, bring in automation to get more measurement data. Uh, and that is for both F1 and for aerospace, very useful to enhance and transform their processes. Wow, an event like this uh, means a lot to me actually, because it's a combination of uh, emotions, you know, we are talking about F1, aerospace, which are both fascinating industries to me, and I guess to a lot of people, um, as well as business, because we are here meeting with customers, with media, um, and this combination is really the best experience, I guess, to connect with people, to look for business opportunities, to listen to our customers, to also listen to what the media are hearing from the different stakeholders they are meeting with. And so it's also, of course, a way for us to convey our message and uh, present our whole offer portfolio to the stakeholders. Uh, this is imperative for our key customers within the aerospace industry to be able to see our capabilities, especially with a key partner like Red Bull that's utilizing our technology at the pinnacle of performance and capability. And it's good for them to envisage the capability from large volume metrology up to small ultra high accuracy capability. Part of my job is to, to talk to Hexagon guests, Hexagon customers about the true value of Hexagon to us as a team. So 
Hexagon, with the AT960, with the AS1s, with the AS1 XLs, with the T-Pros, with the CMMs, allow us to build our car to a tolerance that you really can't get anywhere else. So we can turn microns into milliseconds. So the idea is to um, bring more and more parts fully into the digital world. So virtualization is, is crucial. So we uh, scan or the customer is scanning with our technology uh, parts. We can fully digital assembly them together, mount them and run metrology even on the fully virtual parts. So the customer is in the unique position to um, try and test and trial more and more um, steps of his product lifecycle in the full virtual world and in the end yeah, ensure that the first product coming out of the machine is in a better shape than it would be without this uh, fully virtual life cycle. We have an entire range of technology available from hexagon metrology from everything from large volume metrology up to 40 meters away to hand out probes and scanning and up close and still non-contact up to very high accuracy touch probe technology as well as, as, well as laser, laser scan capability technology, vision systems, optical inspection systems, all the way into digital factory solutions and automated uh, inspection capabilities as well. A really good example for this is our new Maestro machine. It's the first real fully digital CMM machine on the manufacturing landscape. With Maestro as the first I IoT device, um, yeah, you are in the unique position to not only capture the data from the part, you can also capture data from the system, from the machine and share them across the whole uh, IT system and all the yeah, related uh, people can work together to connecting and collaborate on this data. So, in my opinion, it's all about um, our um, hypothesis about um, create, execute and collaborate. So, uh, we want to support the customer, the user with the, the creation of measurement plans. Um, then we want to ensure that it's smoothly going into our measurement devices to execute these measurement plans and in the end to work with the yeah, captured data, the results, to yeah, share them across the organization, share them across the teams, um, break the silos of the teams and uh, yeah, connect the data to important customers, important teams, the stakeholders and in the end um, yeah, to, the, to the customer too. The main, our technology complements aerospace and F1 mm. A couple of different uh, factors. The most important one I'd say is at the pinnacle of engineering. We're pushing engineering. F1 continuously push the boundaries. They are restricted sometimes and they are finding ever intuitive ways to push those boundaries, push the limits that they can and they are utilizing our technology to the absolute edge. They push us and we provide and then we keep working with one another to see where we can push and then it's important for our aerospace customers to really appreciate and utilize what we can bring to their capabilities and what they can take advantage from, from that. Um, the keynote I will have this afternoon is about uh, how to ramp up productivity uh, with quality. And it's quite funny because people tend to oppose quality with the very high standards we have in the aerospace industry and um, speed, like productivity ramp up. Because of my engineering background, I guess I see they are more reinforcing uh, each other. And that's really the message I want to uh, bring forward. Like, don't oppose them. Let's uh, take a step back and um, mix both to have really productivity ramp up thanks to quality and to, at the end, uh, tackle the industry challenges and solve better our customers. The target audience for this event, uh, that is really people who are involved in, in quality control, in manufacturing technology, that are working on improving the processes uh, at, our, uh, at our customers. So these people involved in, when you are involved in quality, where you need to do some measuring, where you need to do some production process improvements, please come to these events. We showcase a lot of beautiful technology to you. So uh, I'm James Munster, I'm the Chief Metrologist at Rolls-Royce. Uh, we've used Hexagon for a number of years in our facilities, uh, mainly because of their large product portfolio. So they do most of the systems that we need and a lot of the software that connects it all together. 
I think I came here to see lots of the different technologies, but also to meet the people. Um, there's quite a lot of good um, metrology people across the UK. Uh, we interface with a lot through our business and through industry bodies. So it's always nice to come out to one of these events and see a lot of, uh, lot of the same faces. It's a good chance to see the uh, Oracle Red Bull Technology Campus. Um, I also wanted to see the range of metrology solutions on offer from Hexagon. Um, to see the panel discussion as well, I'm, I'm interested in moving our quality forwards for the aerospace market. Um, Hexagon as a company, we know that they've supported uh, Oracle Red Bull from the very start. Uh, so they've got a very good grounding there. The Maestro solution with its uh, probing, so it's, its point, its profile and its laser scanning capabilities are of interest. My name's Mia Lloyd, I work for Airbus in the UK in A350 engineering. Yeah, currently I'm a project lead, I'm bringing in new metrology equipment into A350 production for Wings in Broughton. So we got invited today by Hexagon because we are one of their customers. Uh, we did a big order last year. We were invited down and I thought it would just be a great experience to come and see another sector who use the same equipment. So we have a lot of wing measurement, quality measurements within the production line. So the scanning technology on the new tracker would really help make the process a lot more efficient. Looking at saving time, making the manual part of the job as small as possible, so looking really into automation. The new tracker would be a great place to start with that. When I hear the Hexagram brand, I think high precision, I think leaders in the industry. Working in the aerospace industry, we have some of the tightest tolerances in engineering, and we can rely on Hexagon to, when we can trust Hexagon to deliver these tolerances with their equipment that they produce. Hexagon's product range and, and ability to react to our to supporting our problems um, has made them far you know stand out above everyone else. Uh, we can call on them like I said day and night. They will they respond to us. They're always keen to support and help us evolve as a business in our metrology. So Hexagon stands out as a technical partner because of the people and the support that we receive as a team. So like I say. We want to focus on racing. We're very good at building Formula One cars, but we're not very good at metrology. So we can rely on Hexagon to provide us with all of these cutting edge solutions for measuring and inspecting our car so that we can trust that the car that we put out on the track is what we want it to be. Beyond the prestige, it's also a lot about precision. Um, they have displayed how precision is important to them. Uh, they are into microns uh, because they, are, they need that for their a course to win the races and it's just feel good to be part of it, to, to see that we contribute to this and it's also I guess a very nice um, vitrine, we say in French, uh, to show to the aerospace customers who are also with this very uh, severe quality standards and very precise environment, it's good to show them uh, that other industries like F1 manage to tackle the, their challenges with our solutions. So. Uh, today it's really amazing. I'm standing in front of a Formula One car and Formula One, that's the pinnacle of, of motorsport, but also the pinnacle of, of engineering. Formula One using hexagon technology to check if their cars uh, comply to the regulations, but also to improve performance of their cars. That's the best place where you can be. I love it. So next season is huge. It's a huge regulation change. Some people say it's the biggest regulation change Formula One has ever seen, where the chassis regulations have changed, the cars are getting slightly smaller, we're getting a new DRS type thing on the front wing, which will be a, a very new innovation in F1 that we've not seen before, but the bigger picture is we're building our own engine. Red Bull are building an F1 engine for 2026 and we have Hexagon Solutions all in our powertrains factory just as we do in chassis to ensure that we can build that engine to the tightest of tolerances. 